the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission awarded oil prospecting licenses to 161 successful marginal fields awardees on the 28th of June. This was after a restraining order by the Federal High Court, Yenagoa, on the 26th of May. And when the plaintiffs came to court on Thursday, the 21st of July, Justice Issa Dashen adjourned to the 5th of October due to the absence of counsel to the federal government. It has been on for too long, but we are quite, quite patient. While we are patient doing the things that we, are, we need to do legally, they are going the other way around, giving out uh, I mean, uh, licenses to prospective uh, companies. And I, I don't know, the court has not decided one way or the other. We expect that government at whatever level will respect the rule of law. And because the Joe people are peace-loving people, and that is why eminent representatives of the Joe Nation have taken this matter to court, that the federal government will wholesomely you know, give out the marginal fields in the adjoination without recourse to the host communities is an aberration, it's an anathema. It's something that needs to be resisted beyond what we are doing. We had in the press that 57 have been awarded, which I believe is in defiance of that order. And I believe that our lawyers will do their work, get back to the judge. That's why we are here. The adjoination is very interested in this matter and we are determined to take this matter to a logical conclusion. In 2020, some Ijo leaders had approached the court seeking to halt licensing on marginal oil fields located in their areas. Ovietime George, Arise News.